farther down the shore in Seaside Heights, that famous roller coaster is now just a memory. But have the crowds returned? Joining us now is the mayor of Seaside Heights, Bill Akers. Uh, Mr. Mayor, as I look at the picture and the images coming in from around you there, I'd have to say you look like you got a pretty good crowd there today. We, we really do. It's very, very encouraging. Uh, as soon as the sun came out, the crowds returned. And... Uh, very excited. I had a co couple conversations going down the boardwalk, and people just seem so excited that they're, they're able to be up here walking. Are you surprised at all, given what you've been through, given all the talk and all the concerns that people would be uh, under the misimpression that the damage was pervasive and the shore was closed? Are you surprised that that many people have come out? Yeah, I, I am. Why you want to be cautiously optimistic? Uh, you, you know, you cross your fingers and you, and you hope that people will support all the, all the Jersey Shore, Seaside Heights and everybody up and down the coast. And I would hope that every community is doing as well as Seaside Heights is today. Talk to me, if you will, about the businesses that are there around you. The, uh, the number that have been reopened, how many still remain to be opened? The status report, if you will. Well, on the south side of the boardwalk, 100% uh, of the businesses are open. On the north end of the boardwalk, uh, a, a lot less. We're probably at 50% on the north side. They got hit a lot harder, a little bit more work to do there, but I know that their intention is to get open, and they'll be open uh, when the season really does kick off. What, what is the uh, delay for them? Is it the, the extent of the damage, insurance issues or permits, that sort of thing? What exactly is, is the holdup there? I, I really believe that the, the key factors in that is the extent of the damage. Remember, that's the old Cranberry Inlet uh, side up there. That's where the first breach was. They were harder hit than the south side. Um, and, I, and I think there is some uh, issues with the insurance money. When you and I last spoke, obviously, you also had to recover from a, a pretty hard hit as well. The family restaurant that you own and operate had taken severe hit from the hurricane. Where do the things stand with you personally? I got to tell you, it's one of the best Memorial Day weekends I've ever had in the restaurant itself. Uh, we were, the, the people were thrilled to be back in. We were thrilled to receive them. And um, it was nice to get the juices flowing. Everybody, everybody there, they're smiling. We're smiling. You know, it's, it's nice to be under that, uh, having them coming in and enjoying it and being in Seaside Heights. I have to tell you, obviously, you've gotten an awful lot of international attention because of what you've gone through. And then, of course, the recent visit of Prince Harry put you on the front pages all around the world again. How much does that kind of publicity help you? I think tremendous. I, I really do. I think Seaside Heights benefited greatly from the uh, kindness of all the uh, journalism, um, uh, all the people, whether it be press, whether it be TV, whether it be uh, radio. I think Seaside Heights has benefited greatly. And... Um, we're very blessed and very lucky. Well, Mayor, we're glad you take the time, and we're even more happy that while you did take the time, you're surrounded there by big crowds of people with smiles on their faces, and we wish you and the people of Seaside the very best in this summer season. I want to thank you very much, and I, like I said, I, I would hope for a great season for not only Seaside Heights, but every, every single community that was affected from Sandy. And thank you for having me.